two massive armies collide on the battlefield. In the first major war with modern technology. When you look at World War I, it's about machine guns and you know all of these sorts of new um, killing mechanisms. It's the beginning of the 20th century as a tech era. This is not men on horseback anymore. This is a motorized war. The advanced weaponry turns the conflict into a slaughter. 230 men are killed each hour. One death every 15 seconds. Really, the machine gun probably did more than anything else. They found that if they dug even shallow trenches and used machine guns, a small number of troops could stop a large attacking force. And then both sides started to dig trenches. And so they were locked along this line, the Western Front, which was this extraordinarily complex set of trenches that didn't move very much either way. The trenches cover 25,000 miles. Laid end to end, they would circle the globe. The area between the trenches is so deadly, it's known as no man's land. Among the German soldiers stationed in the trenches along the Western Front is Adolf Hitler. But even after months on the front lines, Hitler's still seen as an outcast. Hitler was regarded by the other troops as something of a loner, something of a rather peculiar, eccentric person who kept to himself. But what Hitler lacks in popularity, he makes up for in blind ambition. Command wants this taken to the 3rd Battalion. Now! Yes, sir. Hitler's role as a messenger was actually considered perhaps the most dangerous task in trench warfare. Running from trench to trench, exposing himself to enemy fire, the uh, mortality rate for messengers was quite significant. Germans are retreating, Adolf Hitler's been injured, and uh, he has this encounter with uh, Private Henry Tandy, a British private. Tandy 
has Adolf Hitler in his sights. And even though he's a trained soldier, he can't bring himself to pull the trigger. If Tandy had pulled the trigger, Adolf Hitler would have died on the battlefields in World War I. And the whole course of human history would have been changed. It's one of the great what-ifs in history.